It's baby day. You're completely in the dark. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you think about it being baby day? I'm nervous. Really? A little bit, but I think it's just because it's such a big thing, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't think... That's your brakes doing that. Why are they doing that? I don't know. Okay, I can't see what those are. Okay, we'll update you in just a little bit. <laughs> so, we're stopping for breakfast. Oh, it's currently 4.39 in the morning. We're supposed to be there at 5. I always watch these induction vlogs and people are like, Oh, we're supposed to be at the hospital at 7. It's 7.45. And I'm like... Don't, don't be late. Like, I think that's, but I hate being late. You know, like, it's just a pet peeve of mine when I'm late. So when people are like, oh, I've got 7.45. I'm like, that's 45 more minutes you could have had with your baby. You know, like, who knows? Anyway, it's just something that I've noticed. But we're stopping to get breakfast real fast. My mom and sister are at the house. And my sister's going to take care of Avery. And my mom's going to come up to the hospital. So we didn't want to, like, make a bunch of noise in the kitchen. And I also don't know if I'm allowed to eat. I wasn't told I'm not allowed to eat. So we're just gonna take it to the hospital. If they say go for it, then I'm gonna go for it because I am really hungry. We, we haven't paid yet. Thank you so much. I haven't gotten your water yet. Either. That was very good Samaritan of you, Roberto. We could have easily just driven off, but you did it. Did I have anything in there? I think so. Anyway, today is April 21st, 4.40 a.m. We're hoping the baby is born today, but we know full well the baby could be born tomorrow. Five days ago, I was one centimeter dilated, so we'll hope that I'm at least two centimeters dilated today. But either way, like I told Robbie a second ago, the baby's got to come out somehow. So, oh, it's so humid. I curled my hair this morning, <laughs> and my hair was still semi wet. Yeah, because we took we were awake like five hours ago. Yeah, I just wasn't ready to go to sleep yet. I knew that I was going to wake up to go to the bathroom and I wasn't going to be able to go back to sleep and it happened. But I probably got, I probably fell asleep at like 11.30, woke up at 1.30, fell asleep again at like probably 2.30 and my alarm went off at 3. So, two and a half hours, but I know that there's a good chance that I'm going to, I get an epidural that I'm going to get to take a fat nap today. We're on our way. Everybody say hello. Hi, hi. Good morning. Mom, are you so excited to be here this time? I'm so excited. She rushed here. <laughs> like, probably flew here. I, I've never gotten so ready so fast. I think I called you like 6.07, and at 6.41, you texted you were on your way. I figured Dad might beat you here, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she checked me. Hello, Who are you talking to? Oh, you can talk to her. It's fine. We had to call Ave and figure out a clothing catastrophe. Maddie's at home getting her dressed and she wanted to wear a dress that I technically have to take out of her closet because she keeps picking it and it's just too short. So anyway, anyway, I got here five o'clock. She checked me like what, six o'clock probably. And I was three centimeters dilated. Yes, my cervix is soft, but I was still pretty high. So they started me on some Pitocin. I'm only at like a two right now. And I didn't have to do a Foley bulb. I don't have to do Cervidil, Cytotec, none of that kind of stuff. Uh, they're just doing the Pitocin. So I can feel the contractions. They're coming like every two minutes or so. They did tell me if you want an epidural, like put your order in quickly because they're really busy today. So I, I have a feeling we'll get one here in the next hour or so, but I don't know that for sure. So anyway, everybody's ready. I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> It's coming down. Yeah, it's all in my back. Oh, another one? Yeah, it's all in my back. Dang it. So we'll see if this one comes out sunny side up like Gabe did. Am I on? Yep. I'm on. Okay, so it's 820. We've been here like hooked up to stuff for probably two and a half hours or so. Um my doctor just came in. She checked me. I was still at a three. They upped the Pitocin, so now we're at a four. I was contracting by myself beforehand, so they didn't have to start it and, like, really ramp it up. 
Well, then she broke my water. And so I'm now in line for an epidural <laughs> because uh, the Pitocin was like, I could feel it, but breaking the water. And I didn't feel that with Avery because Avery's was like, I had my epidural before they broke my water. But with Avery, once they broke my water, two hours later, we had a baby. So we'll see. Exciting. It's exciting. All right, I'm gonna give my final guess. My final guess is a boy. I think. And I'm gonna guess seven pounds, 10 ounces. I think, what do you guess? Uh, what is your final guesses for everything? Boy, seven, eight. Okay, mom? I, I have no clue. Just guess. I'll, I'll go against the odds and say girl. girl. And I guessed high the last time, so I'm gonna go, what did you say, seven, eight? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll say seven five. Seven five. Girl seven five. Wow. What did I? What was my guess? What do you think? What was it? You said girl. Yep. No, it's a boy. It's a boy. And the weight? You're thirty eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Seven two. Okay. Wait, go to my mom first. I've already done. Sure. Ah. Okay, I guess girl, and I think that the weight is, I'll say seven six. All right, a little update. We are five centimeters dilated and 80% of face. We have uh, epidural going, so she's feeling better mm -hmm. and uh, ready to have this baby. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Hopefully here pretty soon. Oh, hold on. It's going already, so. Oh. Okay, so, um, when did she first put that peanut bowl? An hour ago? Like, maybe an hour ago? Probably. She had me on my right side with the peanut bowl between my legs. And I could feel the pressure. It was a little painful, too, like, but not, like, the contractions that I was feeling beforehand. So she like laid me there and then the baby didn't like it as much so she put me on my back and I kind of took like maybe a little nap, I don't know. And then she came in and I said, there's a lot of pressure. So she's like, let's flip you. And then I had a contraction or something and she said, is it more intense? And I said, yes. So she said, well, let me check you. And she said, whoop, there's a baby there. So we're gonna, she went to go call the doctor and get me some medicine for heartburn. Ugh. And I have a shake. <sighs> anyway, so we're gonna have a baby soon. It's currently 11.37, so five hours. <laughs> I was thinking we may not even have a baby today. And this baby's gonna be born at like lunchtime. Well, how weird would it be if it was born at the same time? 12.15. Avery was born at 12.50. What 12 time do you 50? think? 50, yeah. I think it'll be born before 12.50. Yeah. You think so? I, oh my gosh, there's so much if pressure. You can feel the pressure in the baby right there. It oh. could be this first push. Yeah, there may, 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 may not be any practice pushing to it. Yeah, she may be sitting there with her hand <laughs> saying, don't push, don't push. Yeah, don't push. it's like right there. It feels like the baby's coming on my behind, though, which everybody says that. Oh, can I see? I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, your mom's like, oh yeah, it's got a ton of hair. <laughs> oh,
want to see mom? Yeah, you do. Oh arms my out. gosh. I'm you gonna did rub it a little bit more. I'm <laughs> Look at him. He's so perfect. <laughs> He's tiny compared to Avery. Perfect. <laughs> 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 Good job, Mom. Thanks. How many pushes was that? Like two. Two or three. <laughs> yeah. I think it was three. Okay. He was ready. in the middle of it without even trying. Yeah. Oh, poor baby. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. I don't know.